let's first understand what is CSS shorthand. Shorthand properties are those CSS properties that let you set the values of multiple other CSS properties simultaneously in a single line, which is a more compact way of writing CSS. Let's see an example to know more. Here I have defined some border properties. You can see that I have individually written these properties like border width, border style, border color. I can define more such properties as per my requirement. Now all these properties can be set in a single line as well. Here is how you can do it. Now you see all the three border properties are written in a single line. So this is what CSS shorthand is. It is the shortest way of writing CSS rules or properties. Let's dive deep into this topic and check where else we can use the shorthands. The CSS background property is used to set the background on a web page. There are many properties available with a background such as color, image, position, size, attachment, etc. The background can be applied to any element like the body, h1, paragraph, division. For example, here we have the background with various property values separately defined. But now you can convert this set of rules in a single line, that is the shorthand. So with the background color, the first value I will give, then we'll give a space, then the URL. Each value is separated by a space. One more property is the font property. The CSS font property is used to apply different fonts to the text that you want to display on the web page. There are various attributes that can be set using the font such as font size, family or weight. For example, if you have all these properties related to font written this way where I have the style, weight, size, the line height and family defined separately, this can be written in a single line with the shorthand in this way. The unordered and ordered list tags are used when you want to display a list of information in an HTML document. There are mainly two types of list in CSS, order list and unordered list. Unordered lists have bullet points that is displaying just the random list of information with bullets, while ordered lists have numbers that is the list is displayed in a numbered format. Here is how you write the list property to set various options for a list where I have the type, position, image and so on. The same you write with just list style and give all the parameters again separated by a space. The CSS outline property is used to apply an outline to various elements that are present in a web page. The outline CSS shorthand property sets all the outline properties in a single declaration. Here is an example. You can see that I have returned certain outline properties separately, width, style and color. Now this is how it can be returned. I can say width 1 pixel space solid space the color. Shorthand versions of margin and padding values work similarly. The margin property allows for shorthand values to be specified using 1, 2, 3 or 4 values. So for example, you write top, right, bottom and left. If you don't want all these properties this way, you can straight away say margin and then you give different values. If you give one value, for example, you give 10 pixels only, then it is applied to all four sides. But when you give four values, that means it is for all the four sides. When I say sides, that means the first value is for top, then the right, then bottom, and then left. If I give 10 pixels and five pixels, that is just two values, then the first 10 pixels will be for 
top and bottom and the second will be for right and left. So that is a way of CSS applying when you give a shorthand with margin. Padding is also very similar. So I'm not giving you example of padding, but margin padding, they both work the same way. These are just few illustrations, but imagine a complex web application with numerous CSS files and who knows how many lines. Writing with these shorthand properties will definitely lead to a cleaner code, smaller files and faster loading on web pages. Using a shorthand property, you can write more concise style sheets which will save both time and energy and will optimize your CSS file as well. Which shorthand property do you use the most? Let us know in the comment section.